Our clothes are polluting our water, damaging wildlife, and potentially harming our own health. Researchers here at the University of Toronto say droves of microfibers are shedding from our clothes every time we do our laundry, and they're making their way back into what we eat and drink. Lisa Ertl is part of a team of researchers at U of T investigating the effect of microfiber pollution on our oceans and wildlife. Microfibers are tiny thread-like fibers that shed from fabrics like carpets, furniture and clothing. You can see them when you clean the lint trap in your dryer, but Ertl says that's only a small percentage of the microfibers that are released when we freshen up our clothes. A single load of laundry can release hundreds or hundreds of thousands of microfibers into the environment. And these microfibers, they can have physical or chemical impacts on wildlife when they enter the food web. The microfibers from synthetic materials contain plastic that never truly break down. But she says natural fibers are not much better. They're typically treated with harmful chemicals and dyes. We've seen from, the, from research that when animals ingest microfibers, it can lead to changes in feeding behavior. It can lead to altered growth. There are many known endocrine disruptors, uh, chemicals that are carcinogenic that are associated with these microfibers and could be causing an effect. The U of T study calculated just how much microfiber pollution Toronto alone could be generating. If the city's 1.2 million households did an average of 219 loads, we could be releasing up to 36 trillion microfibers into our wastewater every year. Water treatment plants typically remove the majority of microplastics up to 99%, but that leaves more than 200 billion of these tiny fibers in the environment. What's more, the sludge that is removed from wastewater is sometimes reused as fertilizer, and fibers get washed into our water when it rains. Just how harmful it is to humans is still unknown. We're, we're literally eating and drinking some of the waste from our laundry, so I think there is cause for concern. We know that they have negative effects to wildlife and the research is just beginning and in looking into human health. There are ways you can significantly reduce microfiber pollution. Coming up, the simple step you can take at home and the one item of clothing many of us own that is actually one of the biggest culprits of microfiber pollution. How can more households reduce the amount of microfibers that end up in our water system? That's the goal of research currently underway here at the University of Toronto. Tonight we've been telling you how microfibers are shed from fabrics like carpet and furniture, but much of it comes from our own clothes when we do our laundry. The pollution is harming the wildlife that ingest it and could be affecting our own health when it finds its way into our food and drink. U of T researchers believe filters like this that attach to your washing machine will help. In our lab, um, the Rockman Lab at the University of Toronto, we've partnered with an environmental charity, Georgian Bay Forever. We know that these filters work in the lab and we're now putting these filters into people's homes. They've been running for several months and people are noticing that they're catching a lot of lint, a lot of the, these microfibers uh, from these filtrals that are in their homes. So we are diverting and capturing these microfibers before they go into the environment. In our research, we did a back of the envelope calculation and we found that if every household in Toronto installed a filter onto their washing machine, we could reduce the number of microfibers going into the environment by trillions of microfibers a year. This is a solution that we know works and could be implemented to reduce microfibers from going to the environment. Now, Ertl is hoping more households install the filters in their home, but she says the next major step would be for manufacturers to have them pre-built into their washing machines. At the University of Toronto, Erica Nativity. Vidad City News.